Thank you so much. And thank you for this opportunity uh, to share my comments with you now. Um, you know, I, I wasn't able to get on earlier today, but I've listened to most of your hearing today. And I totally appreciate the complex formulas and the methodology that go into rates being set. But I have to say, it's time to consider a better balance, or so it certainly seems, between the ratepayer, the customers, and the shareholders. Um, I happen to represent two communities, Fairfield and Trumbull, who are both serviced by UI. And while I appreciate that this hearing centers on the appropriateness of a rate increase for consideration, it's difficult to separate that from performance and from customer service. And the performance that we experienced in this last storm was really not acceptable. I understand it was extremely challenging and that also UI uh, categorized or planned appropriately for a category three that would be a five to seven day restoration window. And they did meet by and large that window, but we're in a pandemic. And I think it's unacceptable that in these situations where we have people working from home, uh, we have children trying to learn from their homes, the health and safety of residents, that in a situation like this, there wouldn't be extra steps taken that why a category three storm can't be resolved within a shorter time period. Um, you know, I, I think that they should have been prepared to respond and restore service more quickly. Um, one way to uh, have um, address this would be through having more mix, uh, safe teams available locally. And one of the other most important issues that I think was missing was communication that was lacking over prior storms. And even if restoration would be five days out, if somebody knew that, and if we had the street by street listings that we were provided before to be able to set expectations so someone knows if they need to go to a hotel or they need they know if they need to take other steps. Um, that didn't exist. Um, I would also be remiss to not acknowledge the ongoing issues of United Illuminating around the Hawthorne substation with the neighbors who abut that property, who understand there's a substation there, but uh, the ongoing lack of consideration and collaboration with homeowners to come up with equitable solutions um, is pretty surprising that that continues to exist. Already, and we heard this uh, early on um, when I couldn't connect, I did hear our attorney general that, you know, Connecticut residents and businesses, they, we already pay some of the highest electric rates in the nation and we deserve affordable and reliable electric service. And while it's understood that UI exists to make a profit, I urge you to reject this proposal to increase and to protect Connecticut electricity customers to ensure that they only pay what's fair and reasonable for their electric service. And I can tell you, I don't think I can find a single individual within the communities that I represent who feel that's the case now. So thank you for this opportunity to share my views and I appreciate that very much.